before. I've never seen this before. It's not the king roll. That's so wrong. I can't believe you wasted your time doing that foolish move. That's right. I didn't have Bishop takes H7. But now, now I have a good position. Isn't that the move? You know your limits, please. Just say, Michael, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize for embarrassing myself. I'm never going to apologize for embarrassing myself. What? Why embarrass yourself and you can embarrass And I'm going to have to teach him. I have to teach him. He doesn't want to learn the game. Oh, and I'm trying to help you, but you don't care. You remember those days, right? Okay, you got me. <laughs> uh, okay, don't you want to block it with the rook or something? What what good was that going to do? Right, I'm going to put it <laughs> Hold on, let me do it, okay? I see that two wrongs don't make it right. Oh, <laughs> boy. What do you do? That's you coming. You got me. You got me. What you, th you think was going to happen? <laughs> a touch. I do confess it. Hey guys, Brian here, and a beautiful rook sack to open up that h7 pawn by Mike here. And I always say, 
that pins are hard to visualize, but also I would also add to that like blocks are hard to visualize, for lack of a better word. I mean, basically, you're going to have to visualize that the king is kind of able to get back ranked here and Mike uh, doing a great job of that. So, wow, beautifully done, Mike, for closing out that one game. And Archer played super spicy as well. He played, threw in the England Gambit here for those who are wondering what this was. We'll go over kind of the lines to accept and everything but real quick I want to point out something that's very very interesting because Archer pointed out Mike could have in the game he played it here but uh, Archer pointed out that he could have played here but believe it or not look at the computer evals at 0, 0.0 wow what the heck right I mean you're gonna you can be at least up the exchange after taking this so why is uh, black equal here in this position we'll go over that in the analysis as well so but a lot of cool stuff incoming. So beautifully done, Mike. If you guys want to get him coffee for that sick rook sack mate to open it up, his link is in the video description. And let's figure out um, how Archer can kind of get out of this uh, in this situation if Bishop was played here. What would you play as black here? So knight here instead. And... Um, Basically, black is very well developed compared to white. So even though you're down the exchange, you can kind of um, make something of it. Bishop takes. And now you're kind of targeting here, but here queen to target the bishop, queen to defend. This could be one continuation. And um, oh no, my queen, right? Boom, boom. <laughs> back rank issues. So going back here, Maybe something like d3, and you still got to be a little bit careful here because rook takes, right? And if you take here, again, back rank issues. So going back here, take, and this could be one continuation. Rook over, and knight d3, queen takes, and oh no, my rook, right? Again, you got to watch out because of the back rank. So going back here, um, maybe something like h6, and give yourself some luft. Rook here. Queen over. Notice if you move the rook, you're going to get back ranked as white. So um, this could be one continuation. Kind of swap everything off, and the game is pretty much dead even here. Now, I want to show you a really cool line for white that was kind of missed here. So we had rook e8, um, and then queen h5. So go move back. White has something here, believe it or not. What would you play here? Gotta have guts to play it. Yes, I kind of gave it away. Rook sack and. Let's see what happens, right? King takes, uh, queen h5 check. What are your options? So you kind of don't want to get out in the open, right? This one, you kind of maybe want to tuck yourself back in, but I mean, not a lot of good options. For the sake of time, let's just say king g8, bishop check. You don't want to go back for the discoveries, king over, <laughs> bishop check, and let's say knight here, rook check, and boom. Look at this. A lot of different ways that line could have gone, but I just want to show you that there is something spicy here with rook takes. And I think going back here for Archer to kind of avoid this, what, what does he have to play as black here? Yes, something like maybe g6, and this could be one continuation. Queen h6, knight e5, attacking the bishop, loading up on here, defend, rook over, take, 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 and uh, the game is pretty much dead even here, so... Uh, hindsight is always twenty twenty though, and um, let's figure out also. Uh, you know, I like I like uh, Archer style here, going for the England Gambit, and we're just gonna go over real quick for those of you curious. If Mike accepted, basically Black is offering pawns for huge development here, and let's go over some lines. He can offer another pawn here, and Castle Queenside, and this could be one continuation. In case any of you are wondering, and going back here, if instead you, this is kind of the more traditional line here. Instead of taking the pawn, the f pawn, and this could be one way to go. And um, computer styles white winning, you know, but black has a lead in development and can try to make something of it. So there it is, man. So beautifully done, Mike. And what a great way to kind of rook sack and visualize the blocking and the back rank. So that is difficult to do. And nice spicy game by Archer. Just kind of missed that there at the end. But uh, nice game, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.